Premiere Pro has a nifty feature that can save you a lot of time, especially if you're working with multiple takes of the same scene. What you can do now is you can take multiple clips, put them in a sequence, and then load that sequence up into the source monitor and edit it from there. We're going to be working with assets provided to us by Adobe for demonstration purposes only, so we're not providing you a project this particular time, so you just need to follow along to this demo. So here's how this process works. Sort of the old school way of doing things would be to take these three takes of the same scene here and view them one at a time in the source monitor. I'll click on this top one there and shift click on the last one. I can right click and say open in source monitor, or I can simply drag them up there like that. Now we have these three takes. Take three, take two, and take one. And it's kind of tedious because the editor has to go through them one at a time and decide which one's going to work best. And also, it would be nice if you could see them in their final cinematic view. You might want to add a look to them, but you can't do that here inside the source monitor. Ah, but there's a new way of doing things, and that's using a sequence instead. So let's make a new sequence from these three clips. I'll just drag them down to this new item icon there. There's a new sequence, the three clips here. I'll just show you the full group there. And let's add an adjustment layer to that so you can add a look to it. So I'm going to go down here and click on this new item icon and go to adjustment layer. Add that above these three clips kind of thin here. Let me just spread things out a bit so I can open that up all the way, like so. And we'll get it on all three of them like that. Let's add a look to this so you can see how you can add a look to all three at once. Go over to Effects, go down to Lumetri Looks, Cinematic, kind of take a preview over here. I like the Cinematic 1 here, so I'll drag that over to the Adjustment Layer. You can see how it makes it a little bit darker, a little bit warmer. Now let's go back here a little bit. The typical routine at this point would be to take the sequence and nest it in the final one. So I'll go back to the project panel. Here's the sequence we just made called Take One. I think I'll change the name here to something like All Takes so we don't get confused about this later. I'll take the All Takes sequence here and nest it inside this panel. Now I'm going to show you the old school way of doing it by turning off this switch here. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Take this guy, drag it over there, and this would be the way you'd typically see it when you nest the sequence. You'd see one video track and one audio track. You're not seeing the adjustment layer separately or the separate clips here either. But there's a new feature inside Premiere Pro right over there called the Insert and Overwrite Sequences as Nests or Individual Clips. As a nest is the old way of doing things, Individual Clips is the newer way of doing things, and Individual Clips is the default way. So I'll click on this and switch to the default view. I'll get rid of this and do it again. Now we'll drag all takes over there one more time, and notice what happens. Aha! There's the adjustment layer, and there are the three clips just like that. So you can basically copy and paste is what's going on here. And it's much more convenient. You can see things this way. You can see exactly where the edits are, and you can work on these guys individually. But another really great thing is that you can edit them from the source monitor. Let me show you how that works. So I'll take the all takes and open it in the source monitor by just dragging it up there like that. And you can see the adjustment layer that's been applied to it. You can see the look that's been applied to all three of those clips as you go through there. So now the editor can go through here and look at all three of them, one after the other. This process of putting all these takes in, let's say, one sequence is what folks in the film world call the KEM roll. KEM stands for the name of the flatbed editor that people typically use to create these KEM rolls. KEM is Keller Electromechanique. So I guess we're making a virtual KEM roll here. And you can see how easy it is now to go through and pick out the one you want. Let's say we'll take this take right there, the end point like so. I'll go here to the out point. Yeah, right there would be the out point. Click that. And now I'm going to bring it down to this final edit sequence here. I'm going to get rid of these guys, highlight them, delete them, and drag this one down like so. And look at that. It comes down with the adjustment layer. It actually names the clip there, take two. And notice that we got right at the beginning. You can see the little triangle there indicating we got right at the beginning of that clip. If I had extended the unity out point, let's say right there or over to here, for example, and dragged it down, it would show the original clips there, right there at the edit points. So this makes it really easy to go through and put all of your takes in one sequence, view them in the source monitor, even with effects applied or multiple tracks or multiple clips applied, and then pick out the take that you want and then drag it on down to a sequence. So this process of editing from a sequence loaded in the source monitor can really save you a lot of time and improve the quality of your work.